Kilkelly, Ireland, 1860, my dear and loving son John. Your good friend, the schoolmaster, Pat McNamara, so kind as to write these words down. And your brothers have gone to find work in England. The house is so lonely and sad. The crops and potatoes is sorely affected. The half to a third of them bad. And your sister Bridget and Patrick O'Donnell are going to be married in June. Mother says not to work on the railroad. Be sure and come on home soon. Kilkelly, Ireland, 1870, my dear and loving son John. Hello to your missus and to your four children, and may they grow healthy and strong. And Michael, he's got in a wee bit of bother. I suppose that he never will learn Because of the dampness There's no turf to speak of And so we have nothing to burn And Bridget, she's happy To name the child for them Although she has six of her own Say you found work, but you don't say what kind. When will you come on home? Kilkelly, Ireland, 1880. Dear Michael and John, my sons, I'm sorry to give you. The very sad news that your dear old mother passed on And we buried her down at the church in Kilkelly Your brothers and Bridget were there You don't have to worry, she died very peaceful Remember her in your prayer and it's good to hear that Michael's returning With money he's sure to buy land The crops have all failed and people are selling For any price that they can Kilkelly, Ireland 1890, my dear and loving son John I suppose that I must be close on to 80 It's 30 years since you've gone And because of all the money you sent me I'm still living out on my own Has built himself a fine house and Bridget's daughters have grown and thank you for sending the family pictures those lovely young women and men they say that you might even come for a visit what joy to see again Kilkelly, Ireland 1892 My dear brother John 
I'm sorry I didn't write sooner to tell you our dear old father has gone. He was living with Bridget. She says he was cheerful and happy right up to the end. I wish you had seen him play with the grandchildren of Pat McNamara, your friend. And we buried him down alongside of mother down at Kilkelly churchyard. He was a strong and feisty, fightsy old man, considering that life was so hard. And it's funny the way he kept asking about you. He called for you right at the end. Why don't about coming to visit, we'd all love to see you 